What's up guys, Josh Mosman here from Motocross Action Magazine. In this video, we are talking about the brand new Honda CRF E2 electric mini bike. Starting things off, we have to point out the obvious. This thing looks super trick. It looks a lot like a CRF 250R four stroke or a CRF 450 four stroke from Honda, but it is not in a Honda uh, manufactured motorcycle. This is not something that you'll be able to find if you look up the Honda Power Sports website. It's not gonna be looking on there sold next to the XR50 from Honda. This bike is a officially licensed bike by Greenger Electric Technology. So Greenger Design Manufacturing and is distributing the CRF E2 electric bike. It's gonna be sold at participating Honda dealers. And you can find out more information on the Greenger website about this bike. Pretty interesting. It seems like it's a competition bike for KTM SX E5 that has been ultra popular. The KTM SX E5 has taken over the KTM Junior Challenge in Supercross now. And it's uh, definitely gained a lot of traction here in Southern California and around the world at the local tracks. You see a lot of the SX E5 electric bikes um, and they're even racing at Loretta's now. So it was obvious that Honda saw a market and they didn't jump in full head first on the electric technology and on the electric uh, mini bike game, but by using Greenger electric technology, they can definitely test out the waters and they can see uh, you know, the demand that they have for a CRF E2 mini bike. Uh, we always thought that the first electric Honda bike would be a CRE instead of CRF, but either way we have it, CRF E2 electric mini bike. Um, and starting off, I got to read the second paragraph from the press release that Honda sent us. And it talks a little bit about their reasoning for jumping into this market. Honda goes in, they say, quote, representing a practical but exciting doorway to the world of power sports, the CRF E2 brings the motorcycling experience to a new pool of customers whose lives are already increasingly powered by electricity. On one hand, the bike is a fun training tool for young new riders as it eliminates the need to operate a clutch or a shift lever. And for kids who already have two-wheel experience, say they've been on a Strider or a Stasic or a two-wheeled bicycle, the CRF E2 is a reasonably priced step up to real dirt bikes, like a step before you get on that XR50 from Honda. For either group, it's a quiet, environmentally responsible form of powered recreation that can be enjoyed in more places than a traditional mini dirt bike. So right away, Honda explains their reasoning for getting into this new game. It is a lot easier for parents to uh, invest in a motorcycle like this. This retail price is almost half of the KTM SX E5, and it's definitely less than a Cobra 50 or uh, some of the other 50cc motorcycles out there. The retail price is $2,950. And initially, you're only gonna be able to order two at a time from Honda just due to increased demand that they're anticipating. It comes with the ultra cool Honda plastics, an aluminum twin spar frame, and it has a swappable battery. So you're able to remove the battery and replace it with another one that's uh, fully charged. To buy a second battery, it's gonna cost you a thousand bucks though. More details on this bike. It weighs in at 106 pounds. It has adjustable hand levers and the ability to alter the seat height between 24.8 and 25 and a half inches. The CRF E2 also accommodates a range of riders that weigh under 100 pounds and the maximum output can be switched between two levels in order to adapt for varying skill and experienced riders. More stats, this thing says it'll charge in a standard of four hours, or there's a quick charge hour uh, of two and a half hours to charge the battery up to 100%. And in ideal conditions, Honda claims that they'll be able to run this battery for two hours. 
Um, as mentioned, it is a thousand bucks to buy an extra battery. And let's compare the Honda C-Ref E2 to that KTM SX E5. The KTM is pretty expensive. It's $5,400 to get that bike at retail price where the Honda, like I mentioned, is just under three grand. Uh, the Honda in power versus the KTM in power, just by looking and comparing um, the power ratings on their websites, Honda's max power is 2.5 kilowatts, which translates to three and a half horsepower. And it has that two different maps that I mentioned. KTM's max power claims to be five kilowatts, which is about six and a half horsepower. So about uh, almost, almost twice as much horsepower, but it is also twice as expensive. Uh, KTM also has six different maps as well. So the C-Ref E2 from Honda, and it's a, you know, obviously a officially licensed pro project from Granger Electric Technology. By watching the videos, it doesn't look as advanced as that SX E5 that we see navigating supercross tracks. So it might not be a direct comparison, but it is a great option to get riders into the motorcycle industry, to get them comfortable, uh, to make parents feel comfortable having their kids on two wheels and something that the parent doesn't have to spend a lot of time, money, uh, and you know have a lot of mechanical knowledge to keep the motorcycle up and running like they might if they were to buy a two-stroke 50cc dirt bike. So very exciting from Honda. I hope that this brings in more young new riders that will uh, continue to advance on from the CRF E2 into the two-stroke market, into the four-stroke market, and really become uh, motorcycle fanatics for life, just like we here at Motocross Action are. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. If you want to know more about this, you can read the full press release on motocrossactionmag.com or like I said, head over to that Granger website for more information there as well.